Welcome back to Spank Ranch Garage. It's a Saturday and we got another side job. This one, a guy brought me this Cub Cadet mower deck and was like, can you patch this hole? Well, that's a pretty substantial hole. Uh, before we make a commitment on that, I want to get to scaling this and seeing how this actual, how everything looks under the rust here and see if this deck is worth saving. Needs a spindle bearing too. See if we can get these bolts out without breaking them. What I'm learning with these decks is they're not rotting out from the bottom through, they're actually rotting from the top down. So up here, you got this perfect pocket for wet grass and crap to, to sit there and just rot this thing away. So it actually looks fairly solid under here, minus the two problem areas that we're aware of. But I want to get these spindles out. Usually these bolts break off, so we'll get a little heat into them before we hit them with the impact. So here's our problem area here. It's a pretty good size hole, but we we needle scaled and brushed everything, so all the flaky rust is gone. We're down to whatever's left, which ain't much. Had a couple pinholes develop here. Got a hole here, hole here, hole here, and a hole here. So take care of those. Center section. Center section looks good. Nothing to do there. Let's get templating. There is still some good steel here. You can see where I cut, it's full thickness, but then on the flip side, it's totally a knife edge. Uh, so I had to cut out a lot more than I'd like to, but I have to get back to solid steel so I can weld this all back together correctly.
It ain't pretty, but realistically, it's never gonna be seen uh, because there is a big guard that goes over here that traps grass and then rusts the deck out. So uh, next time this will be seen is when this side rips out. But anyway, I got a couple other spots I gotta patch up. I'm gonna use the same concept, just you know, cut a piece of sheet metal out, get it tacked, and then start hammering it into position. Alright, patched up, two patches on this side, three small patches on this side, and this deck is ready for another extended service interval, assuming they keep the grass and crap from in this stupid cavity here from rotting it out. Just a horrible design. Now, <clears throat> unfortunately it's not over here. Uh, due to my own sloppiness, when the spindle came flying out and hit the floor, it broke the ear off. Ironically, this is the ear that had the broken bolt in it, but you know, this is where jobs go south. I broke the customer's part. I'm not getting paid for this repair. You know, I'll get paid for this repair, but now this is my own fault. So now we got to fix this up. We got to extract this bolt and weld this back on here. I'll let him know what happened. I doubt he's going to care because this thing's pretty roached anyway, but you know, it just sucks. Like one little mistake, all the profitability's gone, your afternoon's ruined. That's just how it goes. Son of a biscuit. We got a washer on there, we got a nut on there, we got a lot of grip. Now if this will hold, I'm gonna put a lot of heat into the aluminum. Oh. Well, maybe it's moving. I think we're getting her. Yep, that'll do it. God damn, this was the hardest part of the whole deck job. Whew. Son of a biscuit, now I need a beer. All right, everything fits, looks good. Thought to, to make sure is that the welds or your patch plate, you don't want them to be underneath the spindle here, so I trimmed that one. That way these things are nice and flush with the deck, and there's no interference there, just like that. All right guys, that wraps up another side job Saturday here at the Spank Ranch Garage. You know, this was supposed to be like an hour job, it ended up taking almost two hours, stupid spindle problems, my own recklessness causing damage, uh, pretty much just wasn't the smoothest job but anyway this deck is all patched up i think the customer's going to hit with rust converting paint or something maybe i'll get a picture of it before he reinstalls it um but he really needs to get a good coat of paint on this to protect this thing and then i told him you got to be pulling these blade covers or these uh pulley covers often and blowing that out i mean Every time I'm done with my lawnmower, I blow the whole top side of the deck off with a leaf blower before it goes in the shed. 
My mower is, it's like 24 years old or something. Um, it's more of a, a commercial model, so it's got like eighth inch fabricated deck, but even that rotted through on the top and I had to patch it from the previous owner, of course. So uh, blowing off the top of your deck is so important. Either hit it with a garden hose, a leaf blower, whatever you gotta do, maybe even run it without the pulley guards on there. A lot of people do that so you can get to the scraps because uh, it's not easy to get to otherwise. Anyway, thanks for watching Spank Ranch Garage. See you next time.